A new trend is observed at the American University in Bulgaria. More and more students are trying to find ways to leave off campus. While some of them have their medical reasons for that, others are just disappointed by the conditions of the university campus. It's not worth it <laughs> living on campus. But like the money are too much for what you get. And when you live off campus, you like you pay less and you receive more in terms of you have your private space, you have more time, nobody is there to bother you or to nag you about something. In order to get the permission for living off campus, students should provide a medical document stating their medical condition. The doctor then reviews the document and after an approval, he is sending it to the resident life and house director, Todor Kehayov, who has the final decision. If the students wants to live off campus, he or she must prove that uh, the conditions uh, of the campus living are in contradiction with his health. After uh, we started uh, this procedure for reviewing all requests for medical reasons for living off campus, it just happens like an uh, outbreak, an epidemic situation with the asthma and similar diseases. I had um, a headache, persistent headache, and uh, problems with the sleep, and uh, I thought this couldn't be enough, so I also took forward my uh, problems with uh, skin allergy. I feel uh, much easier to, uh, to live, to, to have rest, to study, to do everything I want, and I think this is much more hygienic and uh, better from all points of view. If you, however, are part of the students who find the living on campus satisfying, we remind you that until 8th of April you should pay your $150 deposit to reserve your room. For LBG News, Corinne Ivanov.